Hey everyone, it's Miss Segovia and I'm going to walk you through how to do the mitosis and meiosis foldable. So in your notebook, you should have this one cut out and layered in with a little side-by-side -side comparison and then a Venn diagram underneath and all your little thingies cut out so we can glue them in later. So I want to walk you through what to put on the second page of this one, which is right here, the mitosis and the meiosis. So we'll start out first with our parent cell. The parent cell is the same in either one. Growing inside our little cells, they're gonna form these little things called centrioles. And centrioles are gonna be responsible for putting out these cool little web-like things called spindle fibers. So we can go ahead and la label these. These are centrioles. And you're gonna get a little set forming on either side. Also inside our cells are or is a nucleus. And so we've got a nice nuclear membrane and then within the nucleus we have our chromosomes. So I'm just going to draw some little chromosomes. So a little then there and here we'll make another one. And then another one just for fun. And so the DNA is all chilling out in here, all kind of hanging out. It's, it's a lovely, lovely hot mess. And this is the same for either mitosis or meiosis. But let's do mitosis first. So in our first phase, this is our prophase. And so in prophase, we see our little centrioles, where they used to be kind of one on either end, are going to start to migrate. And they're going to start to move down to what we call the poles, either end of our lovely little uh, cell. And so our nucleus is going to start breaking down. So let's make a little note. Centrioles migrate. So we see them migrate to either end of the pole. Our nucleus breaks down and then this really cool thing happens we start to see our DNA which was all loose and crazy over here starts to wind up and we get these homologous chromosomes so we'll have our, our set here and we're gonna show this one here and here's another one and I like that so DNA or chromosomes form. From our long strung out DNA strands. And then in the next phase, we have metaphase. And so the big thing you're gonna see here is our centrioles are now going to very clearly be at either end of the pole. Our nucleus will be completely gone and our little chromosomes will line up on what we call the metaphase plate. And you'll notice we have two of each and that's because you get one set from mom and you get one set from dad and that's going to be a little bit more important here in the next section. So I'm showing here so we'll make sure we show the four up in the top. I'll draw them back in. So they're all kind of chilling right there. And from our centrioles, we're going to see these cool little thingies called spindle fibers. And so these little spindle fibers, kind of think of like a little spider's web, they are going to reach out and they're going to grab a hold of our chromosomes in a little area known as the centromere. So let's do our details. Chromosomes. line up in middle and spindle fibers form. That's our key, like we are in metaphase. If you see this under the microscope, you, you can't mistake it. And then they're all lined up in the middle, kind of like little hands in the center, and they're going to go away from each other. And so that away phase is known as anaphase. They move away. And so we see them separating. And then they form two new cells in 
telophase. So let's sketch this out. We have our little centriole here. So I'm just going to rotate them sideways so we can see a little bit better. And so our little spin, uh, spindle fibers are starting to kind of die out there. They, they did their job. They served their purpose. And our little X's They got pulled away. So where this one right here, rotate it, you see it's pulled away from it. And it's other little buddy, it got a pulled away too. Sorry guy, you're you're gotta miss your little chromosome family right there. It's like bye bye, see you. And over here too. And our little blue one, it also said goodbye. And it got pulled away. And our little nucleus starts to come back so we get our nucleus reforming and we end up with two new cells now if you look at these cells they should be pretty much identical to what we had in the parent and so our parent cell we would refer to as a cell that is 2n because there are two sets of dna one from mom one from dad over here in mitosis we have an exact copy this cell will be 2n and this cell will be 2N. And so anaphase, they move away and it creates two identical cells. Sometimes we call this our daughter cells. So I don't know why they don't call them sun cells, but they don't daughter cells there you go so that's a really short and dirty version of mitosis <laughs> in meiosis you've got prophase one so it's gonna look a uh, pretty similar to our prophase in mitosis you're gonna have your centrioles migrating to either side of the the cell so if you do a side-by-side -side comparison but this time there's a little weirdness that's gonna happen so inside our nucleus our little chromatids are going to line up side by side with one another. They are going to be super close to their little buddies. Now the reason they're doing this is because they're actually going to do a little freaky DNA swap. It's pretty cool. It's called crossing over. So we'll put a little note here. Crossing over. Crossing over occurs. And then when they line up in the middle this time when they're lining up instead of forming a straight row we actually see the X's buddy up with each other so we've got our X here and our other one here and so we got one from mom on one side one from dad on the other now whether they line up with mom on one side dad on the other or dad on one side mom on the other is completely random and so this is where we get like the um, law of independent assortment. And we also have the law of segregation. So where they line up in a random way and then they're gonna separate from each other, pretty similar to how they did before. And when we get into genetics, this stuff will be a lot more important. So I'm just trying to kind of intro you to the vocabulary now. So when this happens, we're gonna have kind of like, you know, normally we'd be done, um, but we're gonna go through a second round. And so what we see in here is it kind of goes through a little bit of a relaxation phase where the DNA kind of gathers its bearings and whatnot. But you'll notice we have two cells that have two full X's on either side. And at this point, they're going to have kind of like a similar process happening as mitosis, where these guys now are going to separate like they did for the mitosis. They're going to go through a metaphase where they line up in the middle. And then the big finale here, the big important part, is that when all is said and done and they go through the very final portion of this and all the nuclei reform because they disappeared back in prophase each cell so I'm kind of sketching my little spindles here getting ready to get the action going um, when it's all done each cell is going to have just a portion of what it started with so where this one had a full X over here and two 
two little bits. This one only gets one little bit. And then over here, we just get one little bit. On this one, a little bit. And then our purple one, just little bits. These get half the DNA as the original. So we call these cells haploid. They get one set of DNA. So it's a, either all from mom, all from dad, or a little bit of a mix, but not repeating anything. So they are all considered haploid. We end up with four haploid cells. Here we have two diploid cells because they have two sets of information, dye two. That's where we, we get that from. Here they have half the information as the others. If these have two, these have one. So four haploid cells. These are going to go on to become eggs and sperm. So if it's a sperm, each one of these will turn into a little sperm. Or you get one egg and three polar bodies. I'm running out of space. Sorry, I got it right tiny. So three little polar bodies out of it. But this is the down and dirty meiosis and mitosis. In reality, there's a lot more going on, but we just kind of wanted to give you the short and sweet of it. Okay? Thanks.